Welcome to the food scene, an instructional web series on how to make some delicious dishes. This is episode eight. We're doing linguine al pesto, which is a great dish that's super easy to make and uh, incredibly tasty and vegetarian too. So everyone's happy, except maybe the vegans. I don't know if it's vegan, but it is vegetarian. So with all that said, let's get down to the ingredients. So here's the ingredients we're going to need. Linguine, of course, olive oil, pepper, uh, fresh basil leaves, pine nuts, garlic, parmesan cheese, and salt. Super simple, guys, but incredibly delicious. All right, let's move on. Some other quick notes here. Uh, obviously, always wash your hands, make sure your counters are clean, make sure before you start using any vegetables that you are washing them. I am not showing these things in the video because I feel that would be sort of monotonous. But yes, always do that. Also, um, for any of the, you who want suggested amounts for the ingredients, I will leave those amounts in the video description below. Back to the food scene. Quick addendum to the previous notes. I know I always say wash the vegetables, and that is almost always the case, but in this instance, if you wash the basil leaves, they will become a little untenable, so you want to make sure you just wipe those down with a damp cloth. I don't show that in the video, but before you use your basil leaves, wipe them down with a damp cloth. This cleans them, but it doesn't completely eviscerate them. Now back to the food scene. All right, guys, so the first step is to get some water boiling for the pasta. Then we're going to process the basil leaves, the cloves of garlic. So I have the food processor here, adding the garlic to the basil leaves. And then we're just going to uh, grind these up. And honestly, guys, the food processor is a lifesaver here because you basically process 90% of the ingredients and then you're almost done. It's just cooking the pasta and incorporating everything. So yeah, this dish is incredibly easy to make um, and really delicious. It's delicious simplicity is what I like to call it. So then you want to slowly incorporate the rest. So we're adding some of the pine nuts. We're not adding it all at once because we want to do it little by little. So I've added some of the pine nuts and now I'm shredding them or not shredding, sorry. Uh, processing them and uh, yes yeah, so we continue to add the pine nuts and you want to do this in a few steps maybe like two or three times and what we're doing here is all the dry ingredients are going to go in first so the leaves the garlic the pine nuts the cheese and then we're going to add the olive oil so here's the cheese going in you can see that nice green color starting to take shape. Um, and the cheese adds a real nice punch. Um, I'm using Parmesan here, by the way. Just fast forwarding through some of this. Because we're really just showing me processing food at this point. Uh, so here we are, more of the cheese. You want to make sure you're scraping along the sides to make sure everything is mixing well in the food processor, uh, especially in my case, since I don't have a great food processor. And here's the olive oil going in. Uh, and you'll see the consistency start to change. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here. Um, yeah, if you need to add more olive oil like I just did there, go for it. Uh, because if you want your pesto a little less uh, chunky, but keep in mind that it's going to be added to hot pasta with some pasta water, so it'll uh, get a little less thick. Okay, so we're continuing to develop the pesto here. I'm just adding the salt now, and I'll be throwing the pepper in soon after, just for seasoning, and always be sure to taste as you cook uh, with anything, really, but especially with sauces, you want to make sure that everything is uh, to your liking, um, or to what you think other people will like if you're serving this for other people. So just processing that, making sure the salt and pepper get nice and mixed in. 
And now we got our boiling pasta water and we're gonna add the linguine. And uh, you wanna make sure that you're periodically stirring this so the, the noodles don't get stuck to the bottom of the pot or anything and then they aren't sticking together. And then you just cook this for whatever the required amount of time is on your package of linguine. And we're gonna reserve some of the pasta water here for the pesto. Now we're draining the linguine, uh, making sure that everything is uh, nice and hot there. Of course, it would be just coming out of boiling water. I don't know why I said that. Uh, okay, so here's our pesto again. We're going to add the uh, reserved pasta water, which will, uh, you know, make it a little more um, light, a little less thick. Um, and so here's our, our bowl where we're going to dump the, uh, the linguine into. And from here, we're going to make sure that we add the pesto sauce. I mean, guys, we're basically done already. This is how easy this dish is. It's so good, so delicious, and takes like maybe 20 minutes. And you could make dinner for like four people. So really great. Uh, here I am just getting all the pesto out of the... The processor and you can see it has a nice green color there from the, the fresh basil and uh, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to taste your sauce uh, I did that off camera making sure everything was was up to my uh, preferences and so yeah here I am just getting the the sauce out I'm spending an absurdly long time on this shot but I just really love that green color of the pesto I think it's so pretty, so nice to look at. And, uh, you know, if you could also, this doesn't have to be made with linguine, you could use spaghetti uh, or some other kind of noodle if you want. Or you don't even have to use the pasta, you could just make the pesto and and freeze some of it for, uh, for another time. I'm gonna fast forward here a little bit. This is me just making sure that the pesto and the pasta are are mixing together well, they're playing nice. And what you're really looking for here is to just make sure that every strand of the linguine is coated with some of that pesto. Uh, you don't want linguine that doesn't have pesto on it uh, because you want everything to uh, to taste consistent. And that doesn't really make sense what I just said, but you know what I mean, like every, every noodle should be covered in the, the pesto. And here we are guys, finished product, linguine al pesto. Incredibly delicious, vegetarian friendly. Jury's out on whether it's vegan friendly, but someone can tell me in the comments below. And that's this episode, guys. That was episode eight. Uh, this is episode eight's dish. Be on the lookout for more episodes. Like and subscribe if you want. I hope these dishes find you well at any time.